five years, but whatever. <laughs> You know, when I started doing this stuff about 50 years ago, when I was a kid, I worked on a, a, a farm and played with this old guy, but anyway, and we got to go on tour with B.B. King when I was like 18, 17, 18 years old. And I, I got to know him pretty well in that week. Through the years, in those 50 years, I, I would play, I can't, I don't know how many times I opened for him, but many. And he was a very encouraging guy, and he was, he was a, 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 a real fan of music, and he was a real fan of um, new guys. I mean, when I first played when I was 18, you know, played open for when I was 18, and until then, I saw him back maybe 10 years ago when he was 80, some years old, and he still remembered me, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> but I do have a, a tape, you know, in the old days when you sent a cassette tape on uh, for, uh, you know, for an uh, answer machine. And I gotta find it. I've been looking for it for two weeks. And I, I was uh, I was living in Richmond then, and and he was playing in Richmond, but I was on the road. And and this tape says, "Hey, Bill Blue, where I gotta get some decent food in this town?" <laughs> but you know, he passed away. And um, this is a song I wrote for my friend Baby King, and he he he's buried in Indianola, Mississippi. So you'll get what the song's about.
It was a single man to keep that blues alive. Had on the mojo he wanted and some to give away. Yeah.